Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special guest for Full Face Friday, the Anna Edit is here. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> it, have you had a guest before for Full Face Friday? No, you are the first. <gasps> oh, oh my god, I, I, feel, very, I feel very special. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, so Anna has been here. Oh, how rude. Wow, Dan. <laughs> Goodbye. Wow, <laughs> Dan just closed the door on us. Apparently you're being too loud already. So Anna has been here visiting. Anna was here doing her book launch in oh. Canada. An edited life available February 12th in Canada. <laughs> and Alana did the, she was the cue to my A. She was the host at the event and she did an incredible job. It was, was so, so good. She was amazing. We have vlogs which will already be posted by the time this goes up. So if you haven't seen it, We'll link below. Go watch. Um, Anna's wonderful. I have been following Aww. her for way too long, which we discovered last night. <laughs> I think, oh my god, I just burped in your face. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I did like an air. Like oh a my whoop. god. Um, the video was 2012. Yeah, seven years. That is crazy. We had like a walk down Instagram memory yeah. lane and it, it was it was entertaining. I was reciting that video. Oh, it was. <laughs> yeah, she was. She was like, oh, this is the bit where you say what's the thing? Betty the... Cedar. <laughs> <laughs> her UK accent, oh her Brit god. accent is incredible. So I just, oh my god, I've been following Anna forever. We mm -hmm. met at Coachella two years ago. Yeah. And it's been love ever since. So it has. It was love at first sight. This is her first time coming to Canada, uh, which is crazy. I have not been doing my due diligence, but you've seen snow. I've seen snow and you've just ordered me poutine. We ordered poutine, there which... Wow, I only was prepared with ketchup chips for you. I'm hurt. They were so good. They were delicious. They were very good. Don't fight me on that. Any Canadians who hate on ketchup <laughs> chips, they're beautiful. <laughs> anyway, we did a little shop. You'll be seeing a couple more videos from us before or after this video. I'm not sure. And oh, we did just... a haul. Yeah. We did a haul for my channel. So my channel is oh, a yeah. haul. Yeah, yeah. So if that's up. Everything. I think it might be. If that'll be up by then, then mm -hmm. I will link everything below. Subscribe, like, follow on YouTube oh. and Instagram. All that good stuff. <laughs> So good. She's so good to me. So we're gonna do a little get ready with me full face Friday edition just blabbing and we're gonna answer questions too. So it's like three videos in one. And yeah, featuring the new things. Like featuring the new things. Yeah. Q and A. Yeah, that. Emma Merton asked for Anna to say I feel like I've got really good at the like and then you go, bye. But like, you say, bye. Like when I left this morning, you were like, bye. And then it's just so automatic. And when, yeah, she was, yeah. when she was on the phone with Mark last night, she was like, bye. Yeah, it makes me want to do it too. You rub it off on me. Ah, sorry. Mark, I'm sorry for what I've done to your wife. <laughs> okay, so we bought a couple things. Yes. We're going to use it, answer some questions at the same time. Happy Full Face Friday day with Anna. Full face Friday, full face Friday. Anna play with makeup, Anna play with makeup. Anna's here to play with makeup. <laughs> it's kind of new. On Friday. On Friday. That's perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So this was an Anna inspired via Katie Jane Hughes inspired purchase. The haul was basically just a reciprocal haul that went back and forth where like I recommended something to Alana, she recommended something to me and it just yep. just kept going. We, kept going. We, we bought a lot of things. This is one of them. This is the Aveeno Positively Radiant Max Glow Infusion Drops. As recommended by Katie Jane Hughes, yeah. who's very cool on Instagram. It looks to me like a kind of glossier, bouncy Spring. type. Yeah. Do you say that over here as well? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, How did you good. open it? Oh, just like that. And she uses it as almost like a primer, like a skincare primer. It's her first step. So. Apply two to three drops to the palm of hand. I didn't do that. Sorry. Three drops and smooth onto skin. Oh god, I think I did four. It smells like shampoo. Oh, it smells very fragrant. But Katie Jean Hughes always has the most succulent, glowing. Oh, it's so glowy. Like. It's like a mirror. How yeah. does she do it? I mean, apparently this. I don't know, I feel like she, it looks glowier on her. I wanna add more, maybe she goes a little bit more ham. Yeah. Katie Jane Hughes, please advise, do you use more? <laughs> now if you can have I a mean, rash like Honestly, your it feels good. It's very cooling feeling. It feels refreshing, it's absorbing well, it doesn't feel greasy on the skin, like that's quite nice. It almost, it, it has this, a similar feeling to this primerizer. 
Yes. Like when you're rubbing it yeah, in, yeah, it yeah. feels like the primerizer. I think with that second layer, it's very glowy. Yeah, I, would, I think you need more than two drops. So, that was like a solid seven. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So far. Double that. We'll Double see, that. you know? Yeah. It feels like it's left a bit of tack behind, but mm -hmm. in a good way. Yeah. Like base will go nicely over the top of that. Maddie Brooks asks, what's your favorite song right now? Love you both so much. Love you too, Maddie Brooks. Ooh. Freaking oh, I know, I know it. I know it. Is it the same? Seven Rings? Seven oh Rings. My Ariana Grande. Oh, what a jam. I can't. What a jam. When I first listened to it, I was like, oh, this is interesting for it was Ariana a, Grande. It was a new direction for her. But I, I can't, it. even this morning, I don't know if you walked in when I, at this point, but I was like blasting Seven Rings in the show, and I'm just like, my hair is popping. Uh. And I was just like, I, I'm obsessed. I watched last night like at least like three dance videos of people doing like proper, like choreographed, <laughs> grand, I can never say that word. Chor choreo choreography. Choreography, yeah, proper choreography to that song. And there's one that I was watching, oh and it was, uh, it was, it was, it was sick, as the kids would say. It was amazing. It was, I loved it was, it. It was sick. It was sick. <laughs> I love. I love that I don't love think I've song. ever heard you say that. Sick. I love that. Sick. Sick. <laughs> Are you gonna put this on? Oh yeah. Okay. So this is new. This is Alana recommended the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint, and I got the shade Light. You wear a slightly darker shade in this, don't you? I think I have. Oh, you know what? I don't know. Probably. Probably. And um, it doesn't match my face. So yeah. <laughs> but it's one of these like roll. It's like a roller ball on top, and then you've got the product that you kind of squish out. Um, I was pressing this button for a solid three minutes, four minutes. Oh, easily. Before we turn the camera on, we thought it was Ooh. broken at first. Thought we'd have to go return and it. And then it made a sound. It, like, came to life. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to try. Uh, Is this how you would apply it? Kind of yeah. drawing it on. Yeah. And then just I rub it in. I quite like that. And it's apparently the silver is antibacterial mm. in itself. So you've done a full we'll face Friday of milk, right? Yeah. From swatching it, we were saying like in the whole video, it seems like what you would want Glossier skin tint to be. I love Glossier skin tint, but it it doesn't really have a tint. No. Like it, mm, I don't know. It looks and very radiant one, on the skin, but not much. Like else. I always travel. Whenever I go to warm places, I travel with the skin tint, and I always have to mix it with multiple other things to yeah. get the look that I want. This has the SPF, this has the coverage, but it feels like the skin tint, so it's pretty, it's pretty perfect. I it's pretty know. perfect. It, it kind of has coverage. I'm really impressed with that, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it'd be a lot thinner. Yeah. I would no, say it's, it's quite a good match as I'm well. Just, it, it's called the Sunshine Skin Tint, so I'm like, they, they made this for the sun worshippers. Oh, so it has SPF in it? SPF 30, yeah. Oh! That's really nice. It's, it's like a. Skin. I'm, I'm like stalking her through oh, this yeah. mirror. Sorry, it looks really good. It, I, it looks really like radiant. It's not like Mac Face and Body though. I'm like trying to think what no. it's comparable to. It's like if Glossy Skin Tint and Mac Face and Body had a baby. Sold, sold. Oh Which my I god. Which I mix the two together. If I anyway. was watching this video because I watch obviously all of Alana's videos, I would be like, right, okay, there you go, Cult <laughs> Beauty. They sell it in Cult Beauty That's, now. That is what it, it what it feels like, doesn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it really is. It's it it's looks good. The coverage of face and body but with like the radiant. God bless, in. hallelujah. We and as a fan, we'll what see. What are you using? Oh, so I'm using the Guerlain L'Essentiel Foundation. Really? She has been raving nonstop about this since I got here, so oh, I my face. That's amazing. I just can't get over how it looks. It looks, it looks really glossy on your skin. Yeah. Like it looks like skin, but it's evened everything out. Yeah, look at it. Oh, I it's like It's such a good that. match for you. Oh my word. Yeah, there you go. See, guys, this is this is why I love Alana. Like, her recommendations are so... Oh my God. It's true, though. Your, your, recommend, your recommendations are so spot on. Thank goodness. So spot on. Love that. Love, love, love. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> I don't, haven't got a new concealer. Have you got a new concealer? Or no. Are just, I'm just like, using the same. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Nahid Yakubian. Jakubian. She? Oh my God, she was at the meetup. Oh! oh she was so nice. She was the one who was talking about the bags and asked if I would do a luxury bag purchases. And I was like, hell yeah, Nahid, I yes. will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've just had like a sneak peek. I feel like I've just had a look at all of your like fancy bag collection and it's good. Oh, it's good. But it's, it's minimal. It's minimal. <laughs> I it's, it's like totally me approved. I love it. Oh my God. Well, thank you. Thank you, Anna. Um, she says condo living or house living. Ooh, so is condo like a flat? Apartment, uh, yeah, apartment. A flat. yeah, yeah. I, I love our flat. We currently live in like an apartment. I really like it, but I would love a garden. Yeah. Like the idea of having a garden. I've lived with Mark now and we haven't had a garden for like six years. Oh. When it gets really hot on like those two days in the UK, it would be so nice to have be a able space. To go and sit. Yeah. And see, I think I'm the opposite where I, I love the idea of a garden. 
But I know that if I had to mow oh, <laughs> or plow oh. snow, mm -mm. hell nah. No, I no. am not a snow shoveler. My brothers did that when we were growing up. No. And I, I guess you don't really get snow so much in Brighton, do you? No, like once every two years, maybe? Because, like, a house in Canada, first of all, unaffordable. You'd have to leave the land to buy a house. <laughs> leave the land. Um, but, yeah, like, I, I think just the maintenance on a house is so much. Obviously, you pay condo fees and apartment fees, whatnot. But I think for the ease of living, yeah. I prefer condo living. Uh, yeah, I can. I think that's a fair argument. Maybe when you have kids. I don't know. I, I grew up half in a house and half in an apartment building, and I loved it because the apartment building would have the pool. You, I don't know. I love. it. We don't have a lot of, like, these types of apartment buildings, though, where it's, yeah. like, service. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, like the concierge yeah. who becomes your best friend. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Like, we don't really have that as much in the UK. And like, I guess they do in, like, the big cities, but they're kind of few and far between. That's fair. Yeah. I feel like you guys have much more historic buildings, which would also be a dream. A dream, but, oh, my God, like, the upkeep, yeah. the maintenance on them. Like, hello, we're uh, taking out your plumbing. F that. Oh, okay. <laughs> F that. Perfect. Well, that was a great question. I, 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 I like that so much. Okay, Rose in Pictures asks, where do you shop the most? I think Zara. This girl, she loves Zara. She, I'm the, other, the other day home. we were having like a little quiet, you know when you're like, I mean, I stayed with Alana now for like four days, you need quiet time every yeah. now and again, you just need to be able to just like chill, Yeah. Um, we're big fans of chilling, and I like looked <laughs> oh over, God. and she was just like scrolling, like Zara, 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 Zara. I always look, yeah. I always look to see, well they, they've been saying they're dropping new spring stuff, so I've been more actively creeping. <laughs> see in the UK you guys don't have it here, oh probably, probably. Actually, it's And Other Stories. Is that your favorite? Yeah, And Other Stories, it, for a similar reason. Oh, that that okay. it's, it's affordable, but it's really good quality pieces. Yeah, yeah. And very, they do basics really well. And I love like a good basic or like a twist on a basic. Yeah. You're never gonna see me like sitting here wearing, I do have one pink jumper. Oh my God. <laughs> one. <laughs> and whenever I wear it, it's a moment. Yeah. It's a real moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I feel like under the stories, if you Canadians are ever in, I think they've got one in New York. They have one in New York. Yeah. yeah. So if ever you're in New York or like somewhere in America that has it or like UK and it's all across Europe, go. Go and, and go I'm in. I'm curious because that's like what you would consider the high street, right? Like it's high street. high street. It's related to H&M. Oh. It's the same oh, family as okay. H&M. Oh, I do love H&M too. Do you know Cos? Yeah, we have yeah. Cos here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's that. I, I've it's never that actually successfully purchased something at Cos. Every time I go in there, they don't um, display their clothing well. It's all like you have to sift through the racks. Yeah, and yeah, I hate yeah. that. I need. I'm a visual human. I need yeah. to like see mannequins done yeah. up. <laughs> also, like some of their stuff is quite pricey and also almost a bit, almost a bit too basic for me. I know. I know. She loves a good print, y'all. I do. So I, I'm curious to know what your favorite non-high street, like where do you buy your price, like equipment, shirts, and what's Ooh. your favorite? So in the UK we have Net, Net, Net a Porter. Net a Porter. Net a Porter. Oh, some people say like Net, Net a Porter. Net a Porter. I, I, I never like know. Net a Porter. I never know. Yeah, yeah Net a Porter. How do you say it? Net a Porter. <laughs> Net a Porter. I can't do your accent. I can't. Net a Porter. Yes. <laughs> She's too good. She's too good. Um, that kind of has, it's almost like the ASOS of fans. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good place to find. They've got also like new and upcoming designers and they've always got new stuff. Always got new stuff. Yeah. I've actually stopped scrolling. Like I had the app on my phone and I would Did look you? at the app. Yeah. Oh my god, that's I've dangerous. had to like control myself. Like, I think the thing I don't like about, I love that they do the edits, like the um, designer's picks and like the editor's picks, that kind of thing. Mm. Because otherwise, it's like thousands of pages. Yeah, that's they, like ASOS. It's, it's too much for me. Endless. It's too much. I need, I need a small amount. <laughs> yeah. That's, now I kind of have like my favorite designers. I love like redone denim, equipment shirts, and like jumpers. Yeah. And I just like go and check their page. Frame. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I saw you. You've had had some stuff that frame. That shirt. That yeah. I, I. It was like such a splurge, but I freaking love that thing. Yeah. And I wear it whenever. Like there's like a couple of blouses now, very Anna edit style, that I just switch between because oh. they're you know anyway. I forgot to put on my new bronzer. I'm an idiot. Oh. You can, I, I think you can put it on top. Yeah. You I'm could. Gonna, you could contour some more. I've got the Nude Sticks Bondi Bay nudies all over face color. Uh -huh. Can you tell that I watch a load of Canadian YouTubers? <laughs> I feel like we all go this bananas This is on my this. list. Yeah, this is literally on my list. And like... I purchased the uh, Nude Sticks Sunset Strip mm. new blush and I've already oh. thrown out the brush. <laughs> That's what I need to do. You were like, take off, like screw it off. I just, away. I wish it worked. I wish the brush was something I liked, but I just, oh, I'm obsessed with this color. Oh, that is it's gorgeous. It's just like a deep, deep, I almost want to say like a red coral, a coral red. We both got this one. This is like more of a, like peach. Yeah. 
and yours is more of like a, a pink. Which I think I just coral. applied way too much, but you know. No, I love, I, I'm actually into like quite a lot of blusher at the moment. I think it's a really nice look. I know. This the milk, apocalypse is hit. <laughs> and the milk makeup, lip and cheek, and the shade work. I love, oh. I love when you can do both. That's my yes. favorite. And then you just have this like beautiful monochromatic heaven on your face. Yeah. It's so easy. I'm Amanda Ooh. Persons asks some good tips for someone who wants to become more of a capsule wardrobe person. First of all, watch her capsule wardrobe <laughs> videos. They're fun fantastic. <laughs> I like write lists. I almost do like an inventory at the end of each season of items that I've worn a lot. <laughs> Which is like so lame. I've seen these lists, you guys. They're literally they're impressive. <laughs> they're in my bullet journal. Lol. Uh, like, how cliche can you be? Um, but I genuinely take inventory. So I pick my like five most worn clothing just so I know, like, oh, if I want to buy another black jumper and actually I've worn my black jumper a shed load, I'm mm -hmm. like, I feel like that's kind of allowed. Mm -hmm. And I also, it's really handy to write down what you feel like you're lacking. And so next time it comes, like next winter, I'll do it at the end of this winter, and then next winter I can go and literally just look and be like, oh, I needed a pair of, I think I need a pair of brown boots. And I'm like, yeah. oh, do I still need a pair of brown boots? If so, yeah. that's what I buy. Well, and I think with with you, like the best place to start is pulling out those items that you wear the most and getting rid of everything that you don't wear. Yeah, yeah. we're all such hoarders. Having the clear out, like, and you have to get everything out. People are like, can I just get out, like, my summer things? No, no, no. Get out, like, woof, woof. You want yeah. everything. You want to see the big pile. The big pile is so handy for making you get rid of stuff because you can ultimately see everything that you've got yeah. in one place and you're like... And I love your um, six-month rule. Six-month rule, um, or even, like, 12 months. I, yeah. I feel like you just know. Like, ultimately, you know what to get rid of in your wardrobe. Yeah. You just might not want to. And there might be, like, I, I think the worst thing for me is I'll be like, oh, I want this for that event. Like, I bought this short hoe dress when we were in Ibiza. <laughs> oh, and I yeah. was like, okay, now I have this hoe dress. I will have it for any kind of, like, club night that I will ever <laughs> do in the future. But every day I open my closet and I'm like, this is wasting a hanger. I'm because never gonna wear this. <laughs> when that comes around, you'll, you'll probably have something else that you want to yeah. wear. Like it'd be, you'd be able to find something else in your wardrobe. Yeah, that There's, whole keeping things for like one off occasion that actually Yeah, never happens. and it's like really, am I gonna go to Ibiza again with NARS? Probably not. <laughs> Are we gonna go clubbing? Who knows? I, yeah, maybe. Crazy I had a dance night in a long time. Crazy, we had a good night in Ibiza. Oh my God, that was wild. And Vietnam. I've probably been clubbing more with you than I have <laughs> yeah. like any. Oh my god, god. we have like, we have strictly year. a club together thus far. <laughs> this this trip was our our true yeah. granny form being able to live its best life. It was. It really, really was. Oh god. He had a he had a little lamb. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. How do you guys protect your energy from haters? Ooh. They asked me about this on the podcast this morning, actually, oh. that I did. I did the Breaking Beauty podcast. It's a brilliant, like, Toronto-based beauty podcast, if you're interested. I need to go with it. It's really good. <laughs> and she, I was like, I wish I could give you, like, pass on some wisdom. And, I mean, I've done this now for nine years. You'd think after nine years you'd be used to it. No. But I think, ultimately, you're always going to feel a little bit shit when you get those yeah. comments. Like, I, we're human. Like, yeah. I'm not bulletproof. I think the best, like, it, it will never go away, and I think there's been such a, I mean, even when I was in school, I used to sit in my counselor's office at lunchtime because there were girls bullying me on Nexopia. Like, mm. the haters never go away. I think the biggest key for what we do is to just not read it. There are certain sites yeah. and yeah, things, yeah, I agree. blogs that I, I don't go looking for it. not look no. at. I don't Google my name. I do not look at things, and when there's hate comments, Dan tells me not to read. I've also come to the realization, like, you're not everyone's cup of tea. Like, no, of not course. everyone is gonna think that you're, like, you're you're their favorite YouTuber, well, like, and, and that's that's the same when we, we also consume YouTube. Like, yeah. we know what it's like to watch a video like, and be like, oh, I wasn't that into that. I would never comment, I would never, like, do a thumbs thing. down, but. It's the difference of people being, like, they, they, I feel like haters, if you will, feel like they need to announce to you that they yeah, dislike yeah, yeah, you yeah. and that they're leaving your page and I'm like yeah. I I know that I like there's some youtubers like people in general that I love but I don't necessarily watch their videos because yeah. it's just not what I I watch some really weird ass things on YouTube as we discovered last night <laughs> you know and so I just I think that the a person who is going to announce that I'm like I don't want you here anyway yeah so. and it's always it's a 
small minority that shout really loudly. Exactly. Like, oh yeah, what was that saying that you said? I really loved that. Yeah, like there's, there's just, <laughs> there's people who just shout louder, but it doesn't mean that they're the ones you should be listening to. I don't know, there's a lot of, I, we were saying that we rarely like comment on YouTube videos and like yeah. you, like, I really want to get better at that this year because... I know, and like supporting the people that you yeah. actually follow. Yeah. It's really like nice to be supportive and I think if you see it happening on a video or you see it happening to someone on Instagram or something, like, share love, like, share love and, because they'll see that, like, we yeah. read our comments, we yeah. see things and no, so absolutely. if you see it happening, it can only be combated by like throwing some positive energy in, the, in whoever's direction it is. Emily Boyley asks, how do you guys stay motivated with busy schedules? Ooh. And I feel like this is perfect because we were just talking about it. When you're self-employed and you're doing YouTube, I think that you just have to have a certain level of motivation. Oh, you were talking about this yesterday over lunch. Yeah, yeah I agree. To get yourself out of bed. Yeah, I and agree. And work. <laughs> I think the difference is you, if you have a job, you have someone yelling at you, you're expected to be somewhere, um, and when you work for yourself, you have to work to make money. And also, <laughs> ultimately... Like, we enjoy what we do. Yeah. I've, I, it sounds like you've had a million jobs before this as well, and I had loads <laughs> of jobs too. Literally, everywhere we go, yeah. she's like, I used to work there, I used to work there, I used oh to work there. Oh my god. Um, so I've had jobs that I didn't really enjoy. Mm -hmm. um, and so I feel so lucky and grateful to be able to do something that I wake up in the morning and I'm like, oh my god, like, Oh my like god, this is great. Things, yeah. yeah, like I'm here with filming a video. That's, that's awesome. Like, this is kind of great that we get to call this. I can't, I literally can't even bring myself to call this work because I'm like, this is just too enjoyable. It's just too enjoyable. And, and and at the end of the day, it is. And when we say, oh, we're, we're doing work, people are like, no, you're not. You're filming a video. You're writing a blog. And I'm like, it's work. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really struggled to actually call it that yeah. and like own it as a job because yeah. I've been doing this like full time for six years now. But no, absolutely. Yeah, I still, I'm like, it's just, it's too enjoyable. It's genuinely too enjoyable. So I feel like you're motivated Lana's right, like you have to put a roof over the top of your head, but also yeah. because we enjoy it and I don't really fancy going back to picking up vomit off the floor that student, like I worked in a student union bar. Oh my God, yeah. I've seen it all, like yeah. I don't want to go back to that. So yeah. <laughs> that's my yeah, motivation. Yeah. As someone who has a massive fear of people being sick as well, like can you imagine working in a student bar? No, <laughs> like, no. Was. Truth lacks lyricism. She says, is Anna going to get a cat now that she's experienced the joy that is Meryl? <sighs> Guys, I, I love Meryl. I love, like, I just want to constantly <laughs> take videos of her. Like, even uh, today, I was like, she's doing something cute, like, taking yeah. a video of her. Yeah. I'm, I'm very tempted. I'm very tempted. I feel she's like adorable. the key with cats is adoption because, I mean, with all pets, adopt, don't shop. I don't know yeah. if do your thing, but they tell you their temperament. So, like, I did not want a cat who hated me again. They were like, <laughs> all Meryl wants to do is cuddle and be on your lap. And I was like, perfect, she's the cat for me. She's really cuddly. And, like, the meowing is just so adorable. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's novelty Unless it's for at me. 6 a.m. or and 6 a.m. I was like, Meryl, shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very novelty for me. But she meows until you stroke her. And then if you stop stroking her, she meows. Yeah. Like, yeah. My she heart. just needs endless love. I'm obviously going to be really sad to, like, leave Alana and Dan. But I'm also going to be very sad to leave Meryl. Um, oh, we were supposed to be using new things. Um, I did use my Bondi Bay. Oh. I really liked it. Um, and I also have the nude sticks all over face color in In the Nude. And I think in I might nude. do it on my lips. I really like your MAC duo here. Is this the Soba? That's Soba. Saddle? No, it's not Saddle. <gasps> it's Anastasia Beverly Hills in Caramel. And oh. I met a reader so many times who was always wearing this. I was like, what is that eyeshadow? And she was always wearing this. No mascara, so cool. Like, no mascara, just that all oh over the God. lid, like, smudged underneath. I had to buy it. I love well, it. Well, and I, I'm it's staring like at your favorite. eyes, and I'm like, wow, do I have this? I don't even know. This I is love, so like, an, or an orange lid. Not much else. My favorite. Wow. But nice. did that used to be occupied by Saddle? At one point, yeah, I think it did. Yeah, I had Sober and Saddle. True fam. But like apparently not, because I didn't know the updated one. I'm so oh sorry. Oh my god, terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Vesuvi asks, what's Anna's favorite meal from the trip? Oh, easy, easy, easy. We went to a place called Piano Piano on the mm. second night I was mm -hmm. here. Oh my word. I can't stop thinking about that ravioli. It's, how do they do it? A well, we'll like put a, a picture here. A big, of the ravioli. <laughs> big ravioli that you like cut into and it had an egg yolk in it that was runny. And like with spinach, was it spinach and ricotta in the rest of the ravioli? I don't even, I maybe. But then they do Brown like, it butter. looked like, oh, like sugar and butter and all. Oh, like oh, and then they gave you bread, like really buttery bread to like yeah. dip in. 
Oh, it was like was my... it was like eating butter in a really lovely way. <laughs> mm. And she's about to try poutine. Uh, yeah. So we'll see. That probably won't be your favorite, but we'll see. I'm like, I'm excited. I ordered extra gravy on the side. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I'm gonna use the Ooh. Graydon. Ooh. I'm such an Alana wannabe with my Graydon. No, it's me. the best. This is a great mm. makeup on you. Fresh, springy. I, but I'm so, I love the orange. I love the... Well, I thought I'd do something. The beautiful. If, if you don't watch my channel, this is what I do all the time. So and people are like, switch things up. And we're like, <laughs> no. <laughs> I love orange <laughs> on the eyes, okay. Aww. So this is the makeup. Some new things, some old things, new people. Aww. It's been so fun. It's been so nice. Can we do this like every morning? Yes. Oh, I don't want Great. to. Great. <laughs> We just hug at the end of all of our videos that we oh film together. Oh my god, a hug, like, a hug and a thumbs up. Yeah. Every time. I will never, never forget that moment. I like, I'm so that sorry. That is the comment under my vlog. Like, it's just me, like, just thumbs up. I was <laughs> like, thumbs up. People are, like, liking it, like, That's oh, Anna. Brilliant. That's brilliant. That's so up. brilliant. It has been such a pleasure having Anna be here and in Canada. And for anyone who got to meet her, uh, consider yourselves lucky because she is a lovely, lovely person to know in the world. And I can also confirm that Alana is just the best. She's exactly oh. how she is, like, in video. She's just the best. Oh, oh my God. Love you. And if you don't know Anna, if you've never seen her videos, where have you been? I will link <laughs> all of her info in the description box down below. Oh, thank so you. thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. On this little me. full face Friday moment. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And we'll see you, uh, see you in the next see video. Bye. 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 How did I do that wrong? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs>